everyone and welcome to another communion. Just a reminder, today is Saturday but tomorrow is Sunday and we are live for communion at 8pm English time, 2pm Texas time and the rest you can figure out for yourself. I'm going to read from Psalm 37 verse 23 to 26 and they say, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. He is ever merciful and lends, and his descendants are blessed. Wonderful. I love that psalm. I love the encouragement in it. And I wanted Jemima particularly to read that verse. The first one she's read about the steps of a good man or a good person. The steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. That means he is in control right now. He is in control wherever you are at home. And he leads on from that. He says not only that, but he delights in his way. That means God is delighting in your way today. There'll be times you fall down. There'll be times we fall down. But he says we'll not be utterly cast down because the Lord upholds us. He upholds us and delights in us and our steps are ordered by the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? We might think we've been thrown a curved ball through what's happening at the moment. Maybe things aren't going the way you expected them to go, but it doesn't matter. It's still that the steps of a good man, that's a righteous man, that's a man who knows God and we know God through Jesus. It doesn't mean that you feel, oh, I'm good today or I'm bad today. And that isn't what the Bible calls good. Here it says that the steps of a man who's righteous, the steps of a man who is right before God, and that's someone who knows Jesus. So that's you today. I trust today and our steps are ordered by the Lord. Isn't that encouraging? So whatever the restrictions on your life right now, God knows everything about them. He knew about them before you went into them and he'll know about them when we come out from them. So he orders our steps today. So if you need to pause the video to get your bread and your cup, Jemima is going to read, I think we're from Matthew today, and just the verses that talk about the Lord's Supper. So Matthew 26 verse no, nope. Matthew chapter 26, verse 26 to 30 says, And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many, for the remissions of sins. But I say to you, I will not drunk, drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. I love that bit when they'd sung a hymn. Kathy would have enjoyed that, I think. <laughs> but when we break bread, I mean, there must have been very confusion to the disciples at that stage. When they looked back, of course, it became obvious. They didn't know he was going out to die. But he said, this is my body. You'll understand this someday. My body's going to be broken for you. My blood's going to be shed for you. And it's going to be a new covenant that you may not understand right now, but one day you will. And folks, when we break bread each day, today on Saturday, we've been doing it every day with you, and then live twice a week, we'll be doing it tomorrow night. We break bread and we give thanks and we get strength day after day after day. And we need that. I need that. You need that. So let's take our bread and let's eat together this evening and receive strength in Jesus' name. The Bible says he did the same, the same manner after supper. He took the cup, the cup, which is the new covenant. It reminds us of the new covenant. It's a memorial every time we drink it. Whatever you feel like today, whatever your family's done to you today, whatever you've done to somebody, whatever they've done to you, whatever letters you've received, whether you've been encouraged or discouraged, all of that takes a, a back row seat right now because what we're doing is we're remembering that Jesus thinks you're brilliant. Jesus thinks you are wonderful. And your steps are ordered by him. Not only that, but he delights 
in your way. That means he takes joy. He looks on you today and think, wow, they are fantastic. So I want you to be encouraged this morning. If you're, or this evening, whenever you're taking this, if you're feeling downcast, remember, God is not feeling downcast when he looks at you. In fact, he looks at you and he smiles and he's encouraged. So let's drink together, drinking his strength and his encouragement into our bodies today and into our lives today. Let's receive strength as we drink together in Jesus' name. We want to pray and just pray God's blessing on you today. Father, I thank you for our brothers and our sisters who are sharing with us throughout the world in different parts. And I pray your blessing and your strength upon them, upon them today. Even those who don't understand maybe all the language that we're saying, but you understand them. And so together as your family, we come towards you in another opportunity to just presence ourselves with you. And we say thank you. Thank you that our steps are ordered by you. Thank you that you delight in our way. Thank you, Lord, that as David said, he's old now and he's never seen the children begging bread. Thank you, Lord, we'll never have to beg because we know you. And so, Lord, I pray, particularly for those in, in other nations where it's harder and where they're, they are poor and where they need your strength, I pray you'll provide for each one today, particularly in those countries that are finding it difficult through the COVID-19 crisis. And so, Lord, we thank you for your presence with us today. and We will trust you this weekend in Jesus' name. Amen. So God bless you and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night. Please remember, if you have any prayer requests, we are joining people in different parts of the world and our faith joins together. So if you have something, somebody, some particular thing you want us to pray for that you don't need it to be private, if you do need it, need it to be private, then message, messenger us or send us a message privately. But if you want to put something on and say tomorrow night, then we're going to get people around the world to believe God together for you then feel free please send us a message and we will Jemima will be taking note of them and we will pray for you tomorrow night we'll be singing together we'll have a wonderful time in the Lord and meanwhile you'll be at church somewhere tomorrow morning digitally we can go anywhere digitally tomorrow we're going to travel the world before we see you again so God bless you and have a great weekend bye bye <laughs>